All right, so I'm gonna go over the sled drag push. This is a phenomenal resistance training exercise to get your legs stronger, knees stronger, work on your ankle mobility, uh, your ankle strength, all of the above. Plus another great thing about it, gets a lot of blood flow. So we're gonna use it as a warm up a lot of times too. Um, and you don't get that sore from it because you have, there's no eccentric component to it. You're not lengthening and then contracting the muscle as much more just contraction. So for whatever reason, don't get a sore from doing these. So you can do them more often. A lot of times I recommend doing them three times a week. So let's get into it. Um, you can use handles to work your upper back as well. You can use kind of like a waist strap, whatever you've got access to. For this one, I'm just gonna use this belt right here so I can kind of take my arms out of the equation. You're gonna to wanna to stay nice and upright and then try to get your foot to go behind your knee. So you don't wanna to use too much weight and you kinda of wanna pick the speed up a little bit when you're dragging it. So we don't wanna be just leaning back, pushing like this, but get the fullest range of motion possible with the biggest steps. You're gonna get the most out of it that way, the most blood flow to these joints. So just try to stay upright, onto the ball of the foot, strengthening the foot, and then when you get to a certain distance, not sure if I'm out of the camera angle here, you would just push it back. So uh, both these exercises are great with the, with the push. This is an incredibly important uh, position right here, your shin angle for athletes. So this is accelerating, changing directions, all of that. You wanna keep your knees as close to the ground as possible. Again, working on ankle flexion here, loading it, getting the ankle stronger, getting the knee stronger pushing the ground away. Knees as close to the ground as possible. You can kind of march it back. And then whenever you hit the end of where you got, you would just again, get nice and upright and push it back. Once again, you can do this with a belt like this. You can do it with handles, like I got right over here. And that works great as well. Plus, you can kind of work your upper back a little bit more that way. Keeping a proud chest, the shoulder blades nice and retracted. That is the sled push pull. One of the best, biggest bang for your buck exercises you can do. Great for warm ups, conditioning, strengthening, um, working on those positions that you would use as an athlete in acceleration and changing direction. Sled push pull, there you go.